Turning now to developments in the state's audit of the presidential election. The Secretary of State's office says about 2,600 ballots out of Floyd County were not counted on election night. The county's elections director now being asked to step down. Joe Ripley live outside the state capitol for us this morning. A lot of finger pointing going on with this one here, Joe. Yeah, that's right, Sheba. Good morning to you. This problem first cropped up when uh, the Secretary of State's office says Floyd County elections workers failed to upload a memory card on election night. That memory card holding around 2,600 votes. The first sign of this problem came up during the current statewide retally. Again, nearly 2,600 votes left out of the count and about 800 of those votes net went to President Trump, cutting President-elect Biden's multi-thousand vote lead here in Georgia only slightly. Floyd County believes a faulty scanner was to blame. Election official Gabriel Sterling said a person didn't do their job properly. He is now calling on Floyd County Election Director Robert Brady to step down as the Secretary of State's office investigates. It's a big error. That's something that it's really, um, it's rudimentary. It's not something that shouldn't happen, but it did. And uh, we're just now learning that uh, Congressman Doug Collins is, is blaming Secretary of State Raffensperger, pointing to the top of the, the food chain, if you will, here. Secretary of State's office said they've been trying to get in touch with Floyd County elections officials uh, to no avail. The elections director is under quarantine. And so a lot of finger pointing going on. A blame game still ongoing as this investigation into this vote count continues.